Hey everyone, John here from Four Brewers and I'm back with another Four Brewers Quickie. And um, today, this is kind of a last minute video that I decided to do because I just bought this beer today. It's uh, This is uh, Brewery West or Browie West. I don't know how you say their name. This is a Starfish. It's a, an IPA, I think, a double IPA, not sure. I don't have a lot of their beer, 6.8% alcohol, so it's IPA. Um, I don't buy a lot of their beer and it's not on purpose. I see it on the shelf uh, and in the cold box. I got this at La Bodega in Riverside, California. And I just, I overlook it for some reason. I don't know why. Uh, I've been to the brewery. They're in San Pedro, I believe, California. Yes, San Pedro, California. And uh, they make great beer. They've got a beautiful brewery. It took them a long time to build it because it's in like a, an older building. And it's, it's awesome. If you, if you can ever go down there, you should. Uh, but I bought this and a Saison also that I saw. And when I opened this up, uh, I was hit with like this massive aroma. So as you can see, I already have it opened up. Uh, this is a hazy IPA. It's got some haze on it. It's uh, looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, when I opened it up, I just got this like massive, like tropical fruity thing. And um, I decided to do a video on it. And so this is made with, uh, it says mecca grade barley. I don't know what that is. Uh, raw wheat, raw oats, and raw rye. Chinook and Centennial hops, and it's double dry hopped. Uh, they don't mention uh, what kind of yeast there is or anything like that, but looking at it, it looks like it's that Conan strain or you know something similar. Uh, I don't know, I'm just guessing. Anyway, uh, let's see what this smells like, because like I said, it seems like it smells awesome. Really big like pineapple notes are what I'm getting from this and like uh, a nice sharp hop um, like aroma kind of thing like uh, that West Coast uh, IPA aroma but uh, the, the, the pineapple and fruit aromas just like massively outweigh that. Um, it jumps out of the glass, it smells really good. Yeah, there's also like this, it's like a mixed fruit, like a fruit cup kind of thing. Uh, I can't, the, the pineapple stands out the most, kind of like in a fruit cup, <laughs> but there's other things going on in there um, that kind of back it all up. It's got like a nice uh, pithy rind thing kind of happening. I can't narrow down which fruit it is exactly, a little bit of orange maybe, um, but it's got a really nice pineapple, uh, you know, West Coast smell to it. Uh, it smells really, really good. So let's see what it tastes like. All right, so um, it's a hazy IPA by appearance, but I think as far as the flavor goes, it's an IPA through, through and through. Um, it's got like a nice bitter backbone to it. Finish is really dry. Uh, it's got a good mouthfeel. It's, it's nice, but it's not that super soft like He's the IPA mouthfeel that uh, we're all accustomed to with those Vermont style, New England style uh, IPAs. But it's it's really good. It's just not what I expected from the look. Um, going in for another taste. Hmm. It's kind of also got like a, just like a really mild grassy thing happening. I'm not sure how fresh this is. It tastes very fresh. It could be super duper fresh and that might be why I'm getting that. Um, it's not, it's a bit distracting, but it's not bad. I mean, I mean, it's it's fine, uh, but overall, really, really tasty. Like, I need to buy their beer some more. Uh, the one problem I have with their beer, though, is there's no packaging date on it, and especially when it comes to IPAs, I'm really, really hesitant to buy IPA that is that doesn't have like a package date or an enjoy by date, just because. It's a risk. This can, I'm not sure how much it was. Let's say it was three bucks, four bucks, I don't know. Um, well, it's not that much money. I would rather not take the risk of buying 16 ounces of beer only to find out that it's five months old and uh, for some reason, you know, it got left on the shelf for that long. Um, La Bodega is pretty good about rotating out their IPAs and stuff, so I don't doubt them at all, but you need to put dates on your packaging. It's vital, in my opinion. This is a great beer. I will definitely be buying more from them in the future because uh, I always see their stuff on the shelf. I just overlook it for some reason. I don't know why. And their, their can art's really cool. I mean, you know, 
I think they have different artists do their art. Um, this one says the art was done by Muretz. So, yeah. Overall, great stuff. Check them out. Thanks for watching another quickie, and we'll see you next time.